Okay, hey folks, Jesse with Southern Reels Fishing here, and today I'm doing something different. This will actually be my first vlog on my channel. I want to get more content on my channel, and the season's actually coming down to an end, so I felt the need to do this. I see a lot more people out there doing it now, and maybe I got something to offer. I don't know. At least I can get something up there to kind of show you guys what I got going on in between my actual fishing videos. Um, today I'm actually preparing uh, to go out fishing tomorrow. Um, I have plans to go to the Rudy Inlet in Virginia Beach and I'm planning on trout fishing specifically tomorrow uh, mainly because it is that time of year and also because I saw a video a couple of videos actually of people catching some decent ones out there one video in particular um, of a guy I've been following for a couple of years that was doing really well like two days ago catching them some nice size ones too so I'm pretty excited about it it's definitely what I want to get on I haven't caught very many trout so it's something that I feel that I can learn about and something new and challenging. Uh, I've done well with flounder. I've done well with sheephead this year. Um, the trout and redfish are two that I don't fish for that often and I want to do more of it. So I have been preparing here, as you can see. I have my tackle out. Um, I'm taking these poles tomorrow. These four spinning outfits basically are what I'm using. As you can tell, I love the battle two reels and combos. Honestly, for the money, I think you can't beat them. I mean, for 80 to 90, 100 bucks, you can get a killer rod and reel combo. I have four of them in different weights and rod actions. Um, I have them tied up here. I'll start with the smallest first, which is this guy over here. Uh, this is my lightest weight pole. I think it's a 2000 class reel. Um, I've got a little swim bait on a weighted swim bait hook. This is a Z-Man trout trick, I believe in fried chicken. Um, I'll probably use that, I don't know, mid-morning. Uh, first thing, I wanna do some top water. This is the heavier pole that I got with me. Um, I have a Zero Spook Junior, Super Spook Junior on here. That's what I'm gonna use first when I get there because I plan on pretty much being there first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna start with top water. And as the day progresses, I think I'm gonna move, you know, as the fish move down into the deeper channels when the sun gets up higher, um, that's when I'll probably switch over to like the swim bait set up here and maybe even this uh, regular gulp darter head, which I can, you know, rot a variety of gulps on that. And of course I have another one here. This is a sinking, uh, I guess a lipless crank ray. It's a 17 MR from Miradine. Uh, it's killer trout lure, I do know that. I think that's what the gentleman that I saw fishing with the other day was actually using something very similar to this and he was pretty much killing them. He said it was his lure of choice, so obviously I've got that rigged up. Um, I got 15 pound test on all these, well, the two bigger poles I have 15 pound braid on. These two smaller poles I have 10 pound braid on them. Um, and I've got 10 pound fluorocarbon leaders on these two small poles, this one and this one. And this one here, I got 15 pound leader material, fluorocarbon, and also 15 pound fluoro on this one as well. Um, all of them are tied with little uh, loop knots at the end. I don't know if you can see it. That way the uh, baits keep as much action as possible. Um, and the leader to the main line is tied with a modified Albright knot, so there's no swivel. So yeah, I'm really hoping to have a good day tomorrow. Uh, I plan on being there first thing in the morning. Pretty much as the sun's coming up is when I'm gonna be there. Uh, and of course I'll be taking my Hobie here, my <laughs> well-worn Hobie. Hey, this thing has caught a lot of fish, but it's taking a beating. And you can see all the scratches on the side of it. Anyway, I'm hoping to have a good day. I'll probably post this tonight. Um, and basically, it'll give me something to put on my channel until I can get the actual fishing video out. And hopefully I have some footage to actually put on the channel of catching fish, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have these I'm taking with me just to try some different things through the day. Some different sinking crankbaits. I got some Paul Browns. Um, soft plastic sinking crankbaits here or swim baits, I'm not even sure what they are. And then a variety of other baits as well. I don't know, it just depends on how the day goes. But that's pretty much what I plan on bringing. And of course, I am going to bring one rig set up with a, a bucktail and um, a dropper loop, you know, basically the favorite rig that I always use for catching flounder. So when I go under the bridge and I hit that little channel there by the bridge, I'm do a little bit of jigging, of course, just to see if there are any flounders left sing around in that area. But um, 
anyway, that's what I pretty much had planned. Uh, if anybody sees this and they want to come out tomorrow and fish, please come hang out with me. I'd love to hang out with you and fish, especially if you're in a kayak. Anyway, wish me luck, and I'll see you guys out there, and I hope I can get on something good. Make a good video, maybe. <laughs> Peace.